We are the same age after all. Really? Just six months between us. Oh? And who is the senior? I am. Mom. So many people under 40, I'm barely under 40, but they have very little memory of Margaret Thatcher, especially in the US. What do you think her legacy is sort of as a leader? Like, what do you think we remember her for best now? I don't know, because that's very different uh, how she's remembered in the UK as how she's remembered in the US. I mean, I'd, I'd be curious asking you that. Um, what do you, you know, do people in the US remember more than just her hair and her voice? And certainly over here, they remember a lot more than that. And, and some, you know, a lot of people have very, very strong feelings about her. Is it the Falklands? You know, is it poll tax? Is it, is it the miners and, and all the mines that she shut down and the impact that that had on, um, uh, on many families around, uh, around you know, all of Great Britain. Um, it's it's hard to know. And so much of it, I think, does have to do with whether there was direct impact on the individual or, or on the parents of the individual as to what their takeaway is. Did your opinion of her change as you played her? Like, did you get to understand her better? Did you feel like you knew more of her motivations? Definitely. Um, I, I didn't actually, even though I grew up in the UK, uh, we left for the States when I was uh, in 79, when she uh, became prime minister. And so um, it wasn't daily conversation uh, in my childhood. Um, and so, you know, and certainly after moving back to the UK, I, I've heard many, many uh, opinions about her, but it, it, what one kind of has to um, put away all of those preconceptions or other people's thoughts and opinions about her when you, what, when you take on a role like this to be able to learn from scratch. And, and so a lot of um, what informed me was essentially, you know, her childhood and her relationship with her father and uh, their Methodism and, um, and also in, indeed relationship with her mother. But, um, um, you know, she was a scientist and a lawyer and a leader of the opposition even before she was um, prime minister. And so she's, you know, she's a very, very uh, complex woman. Margaret Thatcher is known for having such a beautiful hair helmet, I guess you'd say. <laughs> Did playing Thatcher give you any insight into how Donald Trump sort of sculpts his, his quaff? <laughs> Um, I, I haven't thought about that before, and I wouldn't even know how to begin to answer that question. A lot of hairspray, probably, just like Thatcher. <laughs> it was 